Instructions are important, yes? yes? But the voice and way and energy in which you give an instruction is just as important as the words. As the what? Words. I would agree with that. Yes. Anybody not? Thank you. So, the distinction that we want to make here is that most people have two, one of two problems. Either, and this is for most people, they speak like wimps or they speak like the Gestapo. And what we want to be able to do is this. What's it called? Command. We want command mode, but there's another word we want to use. What is it? Balance. So we want a balanced command mode. There's a lot of people, what we want to do is we want to speak with the qualities of power. Qualities of what? Assertiveness. What's the word? Assertiveness. And leadership. What's the word? Leadership. Very good. So those are the things. Power, assertiveness, and leadership. But you want to do it in a way where you're not screaming at people, where you're not ordering people around, where you're not barking at people. And you want to do it in a way where you're not a wimp. I'll say this right now. Most people speak too quietly. Most people speak too quietly. They don't own their power. They're afraid to put it out there. Put it where? Uh, they're afraid to do that. And you'll notice, um, generally, most people are too quiet, especially women. Sorry, just the way it is. And some aren't. Great. And guys have the opposite route. If they're not quiet, they go Gestapo. Bark, 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 bark. And hug your partner. And the other ones are um, okay. Um, please, uh, please stand up, everybody. Okay, come on, everybody, stand up. Hey, just everybody, someone uh, find find a uh, find a partner. And then uh, choose, choose, a, uh, a, choose an A and a B, please. Isn't that the way it is, yes or no? So there's a balance between the, the barking and the wimping out type of thing, right? Here is the issue. The biggest problem with most presenters is very simple. That they are what? Normal. They are what? Normal. Normal. And there's a problem. Normal is what? Boring. Normal is boring. Normal in this business is boring. Say that with me. Normal is boring. Again. Normal is boring. Tell somebody else. Normal is boring. Let me ask you a question. Shh. Coming from your own integrity, do you want to pay three, four, five thousand dollars for a program that's normal? No. You wouldn't, would you? It's ridiculous. Do you want to waste your? You want to spend your time at doing something that's normal? No. You want some energy. You want something out there. You want something um, uh, different. You want some excitement. You want some emotion. You want some fun. You want lots of things. Yes. Yes. None of those are normal. Normal is freaking boring. And the biggest problem with most people is they attempt to fit in. They want to be liked. They want to fit in. Do things like everyone else so that they don't stand out. And that becomes normal, and that is boring. Raise your hand if you'd like to be, instead of a decent trainer, a great trainer. Instead of decent money, fantastic money then the worst sin you could have in your training life is to be frickin' boring, which is the same as normal. If you are normal, you will earn normal money, which for most people is very minimal. Got it? Yes or yes? yes. I'm giving you the key right here. All right. People are afraid they're not going to look good. People want to approve of them. But the greatest speakers speak with passion. They put it all on the line. They're highly creative. They're entertaining. Yes or yes? yes. You never know what they're going to do. They're a little outrageous. Yes? yes? 
in their own way. So again, the idea is to be in the edutainment business. What's the word? Edutainment. edutainment. The greatest presenters, the biggest thing they've got going for them is that they're not worried about pleasing everybody. They're not worried about what everybody thinks of them. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to go from normal income to amazing income, you've got to let some people go. Do you understand what I just meant by that? If everybody likes you, you're normal. You can't have people liking you. You need to have some people who love you or what you do and some people who hate it. Then you'll make serious money. Then you'll be abnormal. You'll be unnormal. You'll be different. Because you know what? Not everyone's going to like you anyways, no matter what you try. True? So you've got to be willing to let some people go. And that's OK, because they're just, they're just not into this. They're not into your style. They're not into this style. They're, they're fine. They want to sit there and be passive and great. They, that's what they want. It's OK. I have too much of an edge for certain people. I'm too in your face for certain people. I swear too much for certain people. I bumble around too much for, for certain people. My course is you don't get to eat for certain people. No, for everybody, whatever. <laughs> and I say, tough shit. You don't like it, there's a lot of other programs you can go to. If you don't understand or respect my respect for you, not for your food intake during the camp, as I said to you before, our camps are not about leisurely and elegant eating. We can create a camp for that. It's just not here right now. <laughs> and I doubt you'd pay three grand to go, unless food was included. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I have a job to do. My job is to deliver the frickin' promise on that declaration sheet. Do you understand? Yeah. And I do whatever it takes. And some people respect that, and those are the people who come and keep coming. And some people don't respect that, and those are the people who go home and eat. <laughs> understand? So you've got to do what you've got to do. And, and, and the most important thing here is to, be, is to be what? Abnormal, different, unusual. Now, the greatest presenters are going to be a little crazy. Is that not true with entertainers? Isn't it true? If you look at the greatest, I mean, you know, for, it's no question that tabloids are blown out of proportion, all this crap and garbage and fictitious stuff. That is, you can, I'm not even going to ask if you believe that. That is true. The tabloids totally make things up that are non-existent, okay? However, why do they do that? To get publicity, of course, but, you know, people buy it because they love the idea that the, the entertainers are crazy that they're abnormal. Who wants to see a normal Oprah? Who wants to see a normal Tom Cruise? That's boring. They want to know that Tom Cruise was sleeping around with 84 women in one night. That's exciting, OK? <laughs> Especially to him. But anyway, whatever it is, they want to know that, that Oprah's gained 47 pounds last week. It's different. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you, you, the, the greatest entertainer, you expect them to be a little on the, a little on the crazy, a little on the, you know, the creative uh, eccentric side. Yes or no? Yeah. And they're the best, yes? Yeah. Marlon Brando and all the best. They're the, they're, the, they're the wackiest. 